The jigsaw is not an easy tool to set up and get great results with. If you can't get it to cut straight, or the blade is wandering, or your cuts are coming out beveled, or you just can't get it to cut at all, here are the possible reasons why it won't do what you want it to do. The first possible reason you can't get your jigsaw to cut straight is that your blade is 5,000 years old and now it's as dull as your Aunt Melba's Better Homes and Gardens magazine collection. Blades do not stay sharp forever. The cheap ones don't stay sharp long at all. So this one is easy. Throw it out and get a new one. You know those parents at a peewee football game that never made it as far as they wanted to as a player themselves, so now they push their kids to play in the NFL when all the kid wants to do is pick boogers and chase butterflies? So the games devolve into mindlessly screaming at the child to play like Patrick Mahomes so that the parent can somehow feel validated that it really was that bum knee that kept me from getting a D1 scholarship and eventually getting drafted. You're pushing too hard. Just teach the blade how to act and then let it do what it's gonna do. If it wants to cut fast, let it. But if it wants to cut slow, just let it cut slow. Its dreams may not be your dreams. And when it's all said and done, it's going to love you for just being there and supporting it. What a lot of especially beginners don't know is that there are probably a dozen common jigsaw blade types, and who knows how many specialty blades there are. There's blades for cutting metal, plastic, laminate, lighter woods, denser woods. There's narrow scroll blades for cutting tight corners. There's blades that cut on the upstroke, blades that cut on the downstroke, blades that cut on both. And within each of those material types, there's different numbers of teeth, different types of teeth that can be set up to cut fast and ugly or cut slower with less tear out. To summarize, you can't just slap any blade in the saw and expect to get great results, even if it is brand new. Make sure you choose the right blade for the job. I'm very hesitant to let someone blame a tool and get away with it because generally if you develop your skill enough, you can make even a mediocre tool good enough. But the jigsaw seems to be a little unique in that a cheap or just old jigsaw that vibrates and chatters a lot can be a nightmare to use. I think the effect is exaggerated because you've got a tall tool that's really top heavy and it's got a comparatively small base and then you combine that with the fact that your blade is not supported at the bottom and it cuts by moving up and down really fast. I don't think all of that lends itself to stability. Then you add on top of all that that you've got an older cheap tool that really vibrates or chatters and it just makes it hard to use. This probably wouldn't be the only reason that you're not cutting straight, but it could be a big contributing factor. When you're trying to cut straight, you don't want those cuts to end up beveled, obviously, but most modern jigsaws have a tilting base so you can cut bevels on purpose, and they'll actually tilt all the way over to 45 degrees. So even if you've never tilted this base, you wanna check and make sure that it is 90 degrees to the blade. So we'll set this up so that it'll move, but it's not loose. And then we'll use a square. I like to use a small one for things like this. Set it right on the blade and then tilt the base until it's square with the blade. And you wanna do this when you first get your jigsaw and periodically just to make sure that it stays 90 degrees with the blade. This one's gonna seem obvious, but maybe your jigsaw is not cutting straight because you're not holding it straight. Even the best jigsaws are fairly difficult to set up and get great results with. It's fairly easy to get okay results, but it's going to take some practice to get results that don't scream, I was cut by a jigsaw that was operated by a person who drank a gallon of coffee and scrolled through their phone during this whole thing. I've given you the likely reasons your jigsaw is not cutting straight, so now let me quickly show you how to go about getting a nice cut from start to finish. And once we make that cut, we'll use the square on the end here to make sure that we got the base square to the blade. So the base is not tilted. We've got the right blade for the job and it's not dull, it's pretty new. And then we've got a good saw that works well. So I'm gonna plug this in. I'm gonna draw a quick line here that I can follow. I'm putting myself in a position where I don't need to move my feet or my body. The only thing that's gonna move is my arm to push the jigsaw through the cut. And then also to where I can look down at the blade cutting the wood all the way through the cut. I'm making sure the base sits flat and is not tilted up or down. That can be difficult in the beginning because not much of the base is sitting on the wood, but you really just wanna make sure it's not dramatically tilted.
got a really nice smooth cut there and it's nice and square. If you want a full explanation of the jigsaw and how to use it and all the blade types, I've got a video on that. I'll link that down below. I've also got a free guide to the only five power tools you need to get started in woodworking and also a whole plethora of free project plans. All those links are down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you over on that jigsaw video.